Less than 103 for phonics today. Make sure you have your red pin out also. Okay, let's read through some sounds together. Sitting up straight and tall, both feet on the floor. usually found at the end. Er, where's this er usually found? What does it follow? And our short vowels say ah, eh, I, a, a. J. Again, what does it follow? sounds because it's a vowel consonant silent e so this one says o a
four ways. How many ways? Four. Four ways. Er. er. Um, yes, you can put two on one line and two on the next line. Next line, listen carefully before you repeat the sound, okay? Ch, at the end of a word, after a short vowel. Ch, at the end of a word, after a short vowel. Next line, j at the end of a word after a short vowel, j at the end of a word after a short vowel. Okay, two ways. Short E. Let people think on their own. when you have those, pick up your red pen. You have 15 seconds to get those, to get that finished. Five seconds. Everybody's time is up. Okay, holding your red pens. I know that we're moving on no matter what. So, uh, like in book. Four ways for er. It doesn't matter the order. E R, I R, U R, E A R. Those are the four ways. At the end of a word, after a short vowel. J at the end of a word, after a short vowel. And then two ways for short E. Everybody, what does short E say? Eh. Eh. So, E and E, A. Now, we're ready to read through words. So, you can set your pen down. Your pencil can be set down still. We do. Where is, what's that contraction word? Where. I am, what's that contraction word? I. She is, the contraction word? She. Do we have to have the apostrophe in the contraction word? Yes. Yes, we do. What, what is, is contraction word is? 
what? It is. The contraction is? That is. What's its contraction word? That. Good job. There is. The contraction word? He is. Contraction word? He. Here is. The contraction word is? Here. You are. The contraction word is? Your. Who is? What's the contraction word? Who. Whose. We are, the contraction word? We're. We're. Remember, adding the apostrophe masks up. They are, the contraction word is? They are. Right, the T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. Spoiled, reported. Fooled, hunted, checked, rested. Okay, next slide. Winked, armed, cramped, planted, invented, marked. What do you notice about all those words? What do they all have in common? Right. And do you remember the three sounds the ED can make? It can say D, T, Ed. What three sounds? D, T, Ed. Which sound do we hear in this word? Ed. Winked? No. No. Winked. What sound does the ed make? T. What about in this word? Invented. What's it saying? Marked. Armed. D. Right. Okay. Started. Smelled, jumped, elected, coiled, passed. Handed, chilled, called, asked, needed, filled. Uh, I need everybody's attention on the board so that we can get through this quicker to move on to other things that are probably more interesting to you. But this is why a lot of our friends still struggle with their spelling. Because you aren't staying focused as we're talking about these different rules and why the sounds make the sounds that they make. Tricked, Tricked acted, thanked, hooked, hooked parked, parked, twisted, Little, gargle, marble, tingle, cycle, tumble. All of these are those words that end with the o, oh, right? Like the bull or the gull or the toll or gull, coal, bull. Same with these. Struggle, battle. Frazzle. The word is frazzle. What's the word? Frazzle. Brittle. Circle. Mingle. This word means it can break very easily. Might be old plastic. Or a very thin old glass. What is that? Amy? Frazzle? No. Frazzle is like when... Do you ever get kind of stressed out and overwhelmed feeling? That's when you feel frazzled also. So very breakable. 
easily, um, can chip easily. I don't know what else I said before that. Jenny. Mingle? No, mingle means you're moving around people and talking with them. Connor? Brittle. Brittle, yes. Let's move on. Oh, sentence time. Are we ready? Yep. Yeah. Cold, Cold weather, weather is part of the forecast. forecast. One more time. Cold, Cold weather is part of the forecast. Good habits will keep you in good health. Again, good habits will keep you in good health. Jack enjoyed the hamburger with extras. Hmm, he must have eaten here today. Again, Jack enjoyed the hamburger with extras. The search, oops, sorry. The search ended when she found the prize. One more time. The search ended when she found the prize. All right, let's spell some words before we go on to our new material. Watch my mouth. Stench. Stench. Like a bad smell is a stench. 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 Unheard. Where's, meaning where is, where's. He's, meaning he is, he's. I'll show you when I do it up here for you. Will that work? We're, We're. meaning we are. Sludge. Sludge. It's like slimy mud is sludge. Learned. There's. there's like there's going to be a spelling test on Thursday. She's. We'll do one more word. There. There. They're coming with us. And then we're going to do a sentence.
everybody ready for the sentence? Mm, yes. Okay. What's that you have there? What's that you have there? Okay, get your red pen in your hand and let's go through the words and the sentence. So, stench was the first word. St, e, n, ch. Unheard. Un. What's Un. saying the er? Yeah. And then d. Where's? Where's my shoes? Do you have the apostrophe? Yes. If not, rewrite it, adding the apostrophe. If you misspelled it, rewrite it, spelling it correctly. He's. He. So he, apostrophe S. Ouch. And then the contraction word, we're. We are, so we, apostrophe, R-E, we're. The next group of words was sludge, sl-uh, it's a short vowel, so what's the j at the end of the word? Oh, I forgot to show you. Mm -hmm. oh, yep, thank you. I'll do that now. Well, not now, not on this word. The next word was learned. Oh, what's saying er? E A R. E A R. N D. D. Not just D. E D. E D, remember? Okay, when you are writing a word in cursive that needs a contraction or needs an apostrophe, excuse me. So the next word was theirs. So T-H-E-R-E-S, and then go back and add the apostrophe after you have written the word. Okay. Same with the word She's, so S-H-E-S, -E go back and add your apostrophe. Mm -hmm. You're just waiting to pick up your pencil after you have it all written, and then go back in and add the apostrophe where it needs to be added. And then the last word that you wrote was there. T-H-E-Y-R-E, -E. go back in, add your apostrophe. Does that make sense how you do that now, Haley? Okay. Okay, the sentence was, what's that you have there? So what's, is that an apostrophe word? Yep. Yes. Or do I just leave it like that? Apostrophe. 
it needs an apostrophe, doesn't it? What's that you have almost all sight words, wasn't it? Y'all. There. They are all sight words, I guess. They are? Mm -hmm. For what? But yeah, that's, but like the word what yeah. is a sight word for us, basically. Okay, new material. Does everybody have corrections made that you needed to make? All right, I'm going to get rid of that so that we can introduce this new material. So you can set your pens, your pencils down, eyes looking up at the board. Hmm. Now, it has a one above what? And what is I? A vowel. A, a vowel. Okay, and then it has a one above M. M. What is M? Consonant. A consonant. So when we have a one syllable word, because if we were to clap this or snap it or tap it, it's a one syllable word. Swim, right? One vowel followed by one consonant. If I were going to add ing to the end of this, would I just add ing? No. This consonant has to be doubled because this is a short vowel in front of it. Swim, ming. Swim, ming. How many consonants does it have now? Earth consonants. How many syllables does it have now? Two. Two. Let's look at the word red. Now, we're not going to add e or ing to the end of it. We're going to add er. Think about like somebody's face when they got mad, their face got Redder. So one vowel, is that a short vowel? Mm -hmm. It's the only one in there, so it's a short vowel. One consonant. What do I have to do to my consonant before I can add ER? I have to double it. Red -der. Redder. Redder. Hop. Now, I could add ing, I could add ed, I could add er to them, but it has one short vowel and one consonant right behind it. So the word is hop. Now, what is the word? Hop. Bing. We have to double that consonant after a short vowel before we add the ending to it. All right, let's do some practicing. On your first little line, I want you to write the word clap. Clap. Now, we're going to add ing to it. It's a short vowel, and there's a consonant right after it. What do we have to do to that ending consonant? Double it. So now we're going to have two of what letter? Two of those. So on that next line, correctly spell clapping thinking about what we have to do to that final consonant. Yes. What is the difference of vowels for ending a consonant? For right now, we're just working on a short vowel sound. 
when we double it, okay? But on those, you typically just add ing. All right, so you had the word clap on your first line. Yeah. Now, for it to say clapping, could I just do that? No, no friends, because now this A would say A. And clapping? What? I've never heard of clapping, have you? So what did I do wrong? You, um, you did it double the P. Okay, I have to double that final P there. So now I have what word? Clapping. Are we struggling today? It's kind of seeming like a struggle. All right, the next word that you are going to write on your paper is spin. Spin. On the next line, how would you correctly spell spinner? We're going to add ER to it. Okay, so looking at the word spin, sp, i, n. Would I just add er to it? No. No, because then that word is going to say spiner. Sp Not a word. What do I have to do at the end of the word spin, everybody? Double. Right. I have to double that final consonant and then add ER. Now write the word swim. If you add on that next line ER to that word, what would it become? Swimmer. Write it correctly. All right, so you first wrote the word swim. Sw, I, M. In order for it to say swimmer and not swimer, what do we need to do to our final consonant, everyone? Swimmer. Swimmer. All right. Let's take a look then at worksheet lesson 103. There are 180. I don't know that we'll make it to the end of the book. All right. So get your name on this paper. And we're going to use the 111 rule that we just learned. One vowel, one consonant, add one more consonant, and then our ending. Remember doing that just a few moments ago? Yes. So if you look here, it says using the 111 rule, and then it gives us some directions for these two words here. See what I'm talking about? I'll move that back over here. It's not letting me. Oh, there we go. Okay. We are going to add the ing ending to these 
two words, and then the er ending to these two words. So what will this word become over here? Flapping. But it only says flapping if I do what? Okay, so what do you actually need to write on this little short line here? Okay, so we're going to add P-I-N-G. Friends, we're not going to rewrite the whole word because you are eventually going to be rewriting some of those words down here. Okay, so if we want to change sit to sitting, what should we do? What are we going to add? Double the T and add. So on this side, I really only have to put one more T, don't I? Okay, we're done with the ing endings for right now. We're switching over to er endings. So this one says cop. What if we add er to it? Copper. Copper. But what do we have to do to this final consonant? Double the P, Double the P and then add ER. E and then you're going to do the same thing with PEP. We're going to add ER to PEP. So what does the word become? Pepper. 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 But what do we have to do to this P back here? Double it. We have to double it and then add ER. Okay, now you're going to use some of these words that you just created up there. Not all of them. And you're going to complete this, the three sentences here. Okay? But look down at the bottom, the bottom section. I need to get rid of that. All right, we are adding ED, the ed, and the y. What does y at the end of a word say? E. e. We're still using that one, one, one rule. Okay, so we want hug to now say hugged. Finish writing it how it should be written for it to say hugged. And then do the same for a plan. We want it to now say planned. Then you're going to come over here to pep. We're going to add that E sound to the end of it. So what's the word going to change to? Peppy. Peppy. But what, what do we have to do to our final consonants, friends? Double. We have to remember to double those, don't we? And then fur, if we add E to the end of it, what does that become? Furry. Furry. And then you're going to use those words to complete these sentences. Peppy is like somebody that's like excited and full of energy. Lucas? Lucas? Uh, nope, you're just going to fill in the word on the blank to complete the sentence. Sound like a plan? Actually, you know what? I want you to choose one sentence from up here to rewrite in cursive. And then choose one of these sentences down here to write in cursive. Okay? So you're still putting the words that you made from up here, you're still putting those on the lines here. But then you're choosing one sentence to rewrite above in cursive and one sentence below to write in cursive.
I don't know. Okay, go ahead and be working on those. When you have that completed, put it in the tray and work on I ready.